I'm John Wheeler with Natural Born Grillers. Uh, we're here with OBR. Uh, as far as contests a year, we do about eight, ten contests a year now, sometimes more, but more importantly, we've done three deployments with OBR. We were at Moore, Oklahoma, Washington, uh, Illinois, and Mayflower, uh, Arkansas. And, you know, the, this is a great event for OBR, a great exposure. Uh, we raised some money for OBR, and what that goes for is, is not to buy things now, but when we get to a deployment and we got to start off with, you know, $10,000 worth of food in order to feed the masses, and we do up to uh, the most we've ever done was 122,000 meals in one weekend. So it's a great cause, and, and the people need it so bad when, when, when the disasters hit, uh, the faces that we see and, the, and the, the appreciation of the people is just, that's why we go back and we keep doing it over and over again. Well, as far as paying the OBR, there's zero paid employees. It's all volunteer from top to bottom, from the CEO down to the guy that totes the charcoal. Uh, it's all volunteer work and, you know, I think we get paid more than my day job does because it's, it's really, really super rewarding. Hi, I'm Jim Compart from Compart Family Farms and uh, we've had a great opportunity here to uh, be involved with Operation Barbecue Relief. We actually were able to donate product that uh, they're going to be using for their fundraiser down here at uh, American Royal. And uh, it's a great group of people. We uh, actually have had the privilege to work with many of these teams, uh, such as Sweet Swine O' Mine, uh, Boar's Night Out, Natural Born Grillers, and The Shed for the last few years. And uh, they've done a phenomenal job. They uh, great uh, uh, day and uh, you know the the thing that we're doing with our product is uh, we're breeding the animals to have more marbling in the meat and so it's something that takes a lot of time uh, our family has been in the genetics business for over 65 years creating this product and uh, we've been actually ultrasounding the animals to find the animals that have the most marbling in the meat and that's the product that all these winning teams are using so we really appreciate the opportunity to work with Operation Barbecue Relief. It's a great cause, and uh, we'll see you next time. Actually, uh, we're online, uh, www.compartdurockpork.com.
doing well. The heck of a line. Okay, uh, I liked um, entry number four the best. Um, it was uh, it was sauced really well. I got a good chicken flavor out of it. Uh, wasn't too peppery, wasn't too sweet, just perfectly balanced that way. I could also taste the chicken in it. The only criticism I have of it is I wasn't able to bite through the skin. And um, so that was my favorite one. Uh, my least favorite was probably number three. It was too peppery, too saucy. I didn't taste any chicken in it, and then the chicken was rubbery. Okay, I liked um, number four the best. It, uh, it, I, I thought all four entries were pretty good, but um, number four had the best flavor all, all around, though it lacked a little bit of smoke, a little bit of barbecue flavor to it. So I tasted just chicken and just sauce. And so um, I didn't score any of them at, at, uh, at the highest level. Um, the first two um, tasted almost identical to me. They both had good smoky flavor, but the sauce was a little too uh, spicy for me. And the third one, the sauce was too salty. And, uh, and uh, also my piece was rather, rather gristly, so. My favorite was number one. Uh, I really liked the, the combination of the, the balance between the good skin and the tenderness. My least favorite was number four. It, uh, it had the, the skin wasn't quite good on mine and the tenderness was a little lacking, but all in all, all four were very, very good. Um, I'd say I'd probably like uh, number one the most. It, it had excellent texture and it didn't have so much sauce that it was overpowering to the flavor of the chicken, so that was really good. Um, I like I I dislike number four uh, the most because mine I don't know if it just it was just me, but it felt really mushy and the skin was very tough to get off, and just it didn't have a I didn't get a whole lot of flavor from it to begin with, so. I'd say number four is probably my least favorite. Out of all the years I've been doing this, I felt that all of these were more uh, peppery or spicier than other years. Uh, number one, my piece of chicken was a little bit drier than I expected. Um, presentation, it was very good. Uh, I chose number two as the best of all of them. And number four was the most tender, but I agree that uh, the flavor wasn't there and the skin was very rubbery. I thought the uh, first three entries were all um, excellent uh, turn-ins. I'd be proud to have turned them in and on my team, uh, any one of those. Uh, I didn't like number four as much. Still a good piece of chicken, but the taste was a little bit off. The texture is a little bit mushy for me and the skin was uh, tough. So I had to eat the whole skin at, 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 in one 
chew because it came off uh, came off the chicken. Um, so overall, um, good quality chicken, uh, good good entries, and the three um, first three I thought were just superb. Oh, okay. Um, I the one I liked best was uh, was was number two. It had a good uh, pull um, on it. Um, I think the the uh, flavors were were pretty balanced. I think that the one I liked the least was probably number one. I thought it was overcooked. Um, I think there was too much smoke uh, in there, and um, I didn't I didn't I didn't really find any uh, balance of the flavors there. Good. My favorite one was number two, and I like all of them. They were all very tender and and very juicy. I liked them. Oh, my best one would be number three. It's uh, seemed to be cooked perfectly, and its flavor is there. Uh, number four could have been cooked a little bit longer because it was a little bit tough coming off the bone. And I think number one was a little bit overcooked. Number three was very good, uh, very tender. Um, number one, um, the the texture just wasn't quite there for me, but overall a very good showing. So my favorite rib was number three. Um, mine, the tenderness was spot on. The meat was extremely juicy, actually dripping um, with the juices. And, uh, and it had a great flavor with the sauce that complemented the pork flavor of the ribs without covering it up. My least favorite was number one. Um, my rib was actually tough to get a bite out of. The bark on the outside was dried out, and it was really difficult to chew. My favorite was number three. It was very tender, very juicy, and it had a balance that where I could still taste the meat. Uh, number one was a little overcooked and dry. When I took a bite, most of the rib came off, meat came off at the bone. Okay. My favorite of this batch was number three. It had a nice porky taste. Uh, it was tender. It was my favorite of the bunch. I liked uh, number four the best, is like pork candy. I like two and three. They were, they were about tied. They were the most uh, juicy and good texture. My favorites were one and two. I liked how juicy they were and the flavor of the meat. I like number three is my favorite. It had a good texture and uh, a great sauce on it. Uh, number one was a little bit too thick of a bark on it for me. Number three turned out to be a little bit dry. Number six had a good smoky taste, uh, fairly good on the tenderness. Left a lot of fat in that though. The first one was my favorite. It just had good flavor and good tenderness and taste, and the, the one on number four was my least favorite. It was just kind of bland. I selected the first entry um, on my plate, uh, and the selection for high scores was that it had good, strong barbecue flavor, uh, and it had the right tenderness. Uh, the least favorite of, on my selection was number four um, it seemed to have some unique seasoning or spices that didn't appeal to me uh, my favorite was number two to me it had the uh, base best taste and I thought it was very tender um, and my least favorite was number four to me it was overdone and uh, I didn't much care for the taste at all My favorite was number five uh, on briskets. It's all about tenderness. The tenderness on number five was top notch. Uh, as far as the other end of the spectrum, I'd say that number four was well thick cut, but a little too tough for me. Um, and back to number five, it hit a hit a Kansas City Royals home run. All righty, my favorite was number five. It maintained a good flavor, moisture. And uh, 
and uh, the the uh, texture didn't fall apart. You could pull it apart real easy. It was a real good, real good cut of beef. I like number two the best. The taste and tenderness was spot on. The sauce uh, complemented the meat and wasn't overpowering. Uh, my least favorite was number four. It was overcooked, dry, and it was tough. Okay, my name is Tom Wallace, uh, Lone Wolf Barbecue. Been cooking barbecue for 20 years up through 2010 when I retired. Uh, 1990, the first year I cooked uh, competitively, I was fortunate enough to win the American Royal and was awarded the Open uh, Ring just this year. Uh, many of the past uh, contestants and winners are receiving their w rings either earlier this year or at this event. I got started in barbecue by cooking with a team in Texas when I lived down there, and they were called the Wolves. Uh, we were fortunate enough to win one competition down there before I moved to Kansas City. Moved to Kansas. Uh, actually, actually, it was a uh, local uh, rodeo, rodeo. It was for the uh, for the livestock show and rodeo. It was a competition. It was it was in it was in Montgomery County. Uh, a bunch of fairs down there have what they call is the uh, their the kickoff or the cookoff competition to get enter the one in Houston. And we won the open division in Montgomery County. I moved to uh, Kansas City and no longer part of the Wolves, so that uh, got us our name, the Lone Wolf. And that name stuck to me. Throughout the years, I cooked many contests. I've won awards in 14 different states. Uh, and uh, when I got up to Minnesota, barbecue was not uh, big there. Currently, they have probably 10 or 12 competitions. We op we started the Minnesota Barbecue Society back in uh, 95, and uh, it has grown to uh, I don't know how many members at this point. So I've loved uh, barbecue. Uh, when I retired, I wanted to keep with barbecue, so here I am judging, and uh, certainly love it. Keeps me in contact with all the good friends and camaraderie that we had throughout the years. Each barbecue side dish and dessert that is presented to my eyes, my nose, and my mouth. I accept my duty the 2014-35th Annual American Royal World Series of Barbecue Side Dish and Dessert Judge. So the truth, justice, excellence in side dishes and desserts, and the American way of life, may be strengthened and preserved forever. You're on your own, do a great job.
overdone to me. And number two and number three, I liked. It's easy to eat. And four and five and six, they were they were real good too. I think number six had a little bit of blood by the bone, but otherwise good. Okay, my least favorite was number one. It didn't have a good, very good appearance. It was dry, and it tasted dry as well and very salty. Six was my favorite. It was well cooked, and it had a heat that built, so it was really nice. Number one was as dry as the desert, and number uh, three was really moist and tender. Almost had perfect flavor, but not quite. Number four had perfect flavor. Uh, wasn't quite as tender and the breast meat they did a really good job on cooking the breast meat and it was just a little bland thank you all right my favorite was number four it was perfect in every way the right amount of sauce the right amount of tenderness and my least favorite was number three I didn't think it had very good flavor although it was very very tender my favorite was number three. I thought the color was very nice and the moisture was perfect. Um, number one was my least favorite. I found it to be very dry. Number one was dry, like everyone else said. The breast meat was awesome. Uh, the favorite seems to be number two and three. Thank you, Albert. I, I, I like the... Um, the last one I thought had the best flavor, and I thought the uh, fourth one was probably cooked as, as good as it could be cooked. I like number six the best. I like the overall flavor, the tenderness, everything about it was a good rib. My least favorite was probably number three. Um, could have been cooked, in my opinion, a little bit more and kind of and some more flavor also. My favorite was number one, uh, mainly for the texture, uh, but it was really a very good flavor too. Um, and then number two was probably my least favorite just because of the uh, uh, unusual flavor and not the best texture in terms of uh, doneness. My favorite was number two uh, because of the extra spice. I think it had a little bit more spice to it, more of a hot spice. And I don't think I had a least favorite. Numbers one and five were my favorite. Both were very tender, uh, evenly smoked, and, and delicious. Number two felt like it had a whole lot of extra smoke and spice to me, and number three was rather tough. I think I just got a tough rib, but all around really great ribs. Okay. My favorite of this batch was number three. It had a nice porky taste. Uh, it was tender. It was my favorite of the bunch. I like the uh, number four the best is like pork candy. I like two and three. They were they were about tied. They were the most uh, juicy and good texture. My favorites were one and two. I liked how juicy they were and the flavor of the meat. I like number three is my favorite. It had a good texture and a, a great sauce on it. Uh, number one was a little bit too thick of a bark on it for me. Number three turned out to be a little bit dry. Number six had a good smoky taste, uh, fairly good on the tenderness. Left a lot of fat in it though. Thank you. <laughs> I, my favorite was six. Uh, Really tender, just the right, right amount of smokiness to it, too, I thought. Well, that was my least favorite. Uh, a little tough, but the rest of them I had, a, had pretty good tenderness to them. Some were a little bit more sweet than I personally like with brisket, but so that the sixth one right here, this, this guy had it right there. He nailed it. There you go. Oh, okay, I think I like number three. And I like number three, it was extremely tender, but also because you could taste both the meat 
and the rub and sauce. And so I thought it was a, it was a great combination. It neither was too overpowering. I like brisket. I like most of them. <laughs> All of them are pretty good. But number five was probably number five, number three were probably top for me. Number three was my favorite, but I think it was overcooked because it fell apart and there wasn't much um, resistance when we did the pull test. But it was, had the best flavor, and it was my favorite. My least favorite was number six because it had a really off-putting flavor. Number one was fair. Number three was overcooked, but it had a really good flavor. Number four was really good and had good flavor, and number five was really good. I like number one. Number one was, uh, between number one and number three was my favorite. Number one, the tenderness was, to me, was spot on. Very little sauce, which made the flavor of the meat come out that much better. Number three had a little bit more sauce on it, but the sauce was just right. Centerness I thought was perfect on it, and the taste was great. Thank you. <laughs>